yeah hello guys good day guys you're welcome back to this training uh today i'll be teaching you how to uh host a website how to host a website that means how to install your wordpress application from your c panel yes in this tutorial you will be knowing how to uh install the wordpress how to log into wordpress then from there we will continue our design the difference for, uh, between this and the previous class is that the previous we used uh, local host that means we host our website from our computer but now we'll be using direct live hosting direct live hosting so you can follow me and let's move on yeah let me just go straight to the point for those who have bought their hosting and domain or you previously have hosting plan and domain so you can follow me if you are yet to get yours you can contact me uh, after watching this video after buying a hosting plan they will send you some details into your email yes the detail will contain your domain name and the hosting details so with that let me i will be using this uh as an example for those who bought the domain and hosting from me i've sent you messages i've sent you a mail to your uh, inbox you can check it from there so you will see something like this in your mail so your domain name and uh, cpanel login details and uh, contacts so let's move on let me copy this so to login into your c panel what do i mean by c panel is control panel that's where you will be able to set, set everything about your website so that's where we will be working now so to do that come to this c panel url copy the url from this http done just the line aha then copy then paste it to your browser enter so it will now log into uh you can see that's my login details so you type your username there then your password it will now log in let's wait for it to log in so it can be bring something like this you just click accept the risk it's risk free just click it it may bring it if you have such um, antivirus on your website so it will now redirect me to my main c panel you can see this is my c panel this is my username and these are what we'll be using to uh, set up our websites as you can see all the icons in the C panel starting from files get back up uh, databases SEO and marketing tools domains email metrics security software advanced preferences sites by website builder uh, softaculous apps installer application so these are what we will be using to design to work on our websites so i'll be explaining it one after the other as you move on with this tutorial now let's go straight to the point to install the wordpress application so 
you will need to go to uh, softwares yes search for softwares the security okay this software you can see software then look for softaculous apps so softaculous apps installer you can see softaculous apps installer then click it that's what we'll be using to install wordpress on our domain you can see wordpress uh abante cart presta shop joomla and others and others you can see them but the one we need is this wordpress as i hover on it you can see it brings install demo overview so you just click this install yes because we don't we want to install it on our domain aha this yeah this is it now here you can see it's on install software setup choose the version you want to install so it's advisable to choose the uh, recent updated version the updated version the recent version is 5.4.2 5.4.2 that's the latest version so we selected it then choose installation url this means the link uh, uh, the url means your domain the domain you want to install wordpress on so for now you can see this list http that's hypertext transfer protocol I'll be explaining that much better later so you can choose any of the four but for now we won't choose this one that has s the s means you've installed ssl that's for security i'll be explaining how to install that later not to compromise uh, everything now just follow me step by step so i would like to choose the second one choose the domain this is the domain this is the domain i'm using istap.com as you can see istap.com istap.com is the domain i'm uh, installing the word wordpress on now let's come back site settings site name i will leave it like this site description i will leave it for now aha admin account this place is very very important very very essential very very essential this admin username i would like to leave it as admin you can change it if you like but i would like to leave it as admin but the password the password is what i would like to type now let me hide my password uh, aha that's my password so my admin email that's admin at istab.com you can see that's a customized admin for my website so from there you just come down here then click install or if you wish to install any of these things okay let me just choose this that as apple then for demo purpose for demo purpose so it's now installing wordpress it's now installing wordpress you can see very simple very simple and straightforward simple and straightforward it has no much stress like local hosts that you need to do multiple things it will now install my wordpress on my domain which is istap.com aha congratulations the software was successfully installed you can see i've installed my wordpress now this is the uh details that it brings now to check the website you can just click this that's to check 
the website how it now looks like how it now looks like now as you can see this is the website is tab.com aha you can see this is the demo theme i choose the other time now to now have your login uh, uh, access i mean to log in to admin uh, side of the website that is the ba back end of the website so you can click this you can click this or you just type uh, you just type the domain name can you see this our wordpress uh, dashboard end yes that's the back end of our wordpress uh, website you can see it's very simple very simple to install very simple this is the uh, front end of the website and this is the back end of it you can see but if, uh, if you remember we we'll click this link to have access to the dashboard but you can also use it manually how let me log out now because the reason why I'm uh, talking about this is for you to remember your login details every time every time that's the login details you set up when installing the WordPress you should not uh, forget it if you can remember I used admin for username admin sorry in small letters admin you must be careful of that because it's case sensitive then your password that's my password then I will click remind me I will remember me sorry then log in then save so anytime I wish to log in it can log me in automatically or remember my details you can see it's now logged in from here now we'll be able to design any type of website of our choice that's how to install and host your domain uh, your domain name to host it and install WordPress on it very very simple as simple as ABC so you can join me in the next videos for how to design a corporate and standard website thank you for listening thank you for watching have a lovely and nice day love you all bye